Then you can show him to others. Uh huh. I say, if you have an experience with God, then you can show him to others. Now, only show him, then it's time to tell him. See, a person can tell you about the baptism of the Holy Ghost if they never got it. And so they tell you, you don't need it. You know why they tell you, you don't need it? Because they ain't got it. Light represents understanding. Light also represents walking in righteousness. See, when you walk in darkness, then you can't see. Yeah. And so when you walk in darkness, it represents sin. But God is light. Right? Watch this ring. And in Him is no darkness at all. No darkness. You're not trying to walk with God and yet hold on to sin. Right. That's right. Oh, come on, right? I'm not talking about you weak in the area and God can help you. But real saints don't practice sin. Anything you practice, you can give it that. You're not trying to walk in darkness. Darkness represents killing things. Sugar on the side. No, no. You don't walk with God and walk like that. The way that leads to destruction and many don't go that far. Can I prove it? Yeah, this house is filled. But it don't look like if the Rams was playing. Because in the last days, entertainment, entertainment is going to become great. Men love pleasure more than lovers of God. Right, right. And don't get no Ram tickets on Sunday. I ain't gonna see some of y'all. <laughs> Nobody on the Rams, or maybe I'm not a Ram fan. Crumbs. They didn't die for me. And John did this to tell the believers now, watch the apostles. Stay on the doctrine because many false people going to come. But you got to stay loyal and build your stuff on the prophets and the apostles. Jesus Christ being the chief corner star. It doesn't matter what somebody say, how they sound, what they think, their opinion, do it not up to what God You better have thy word in thy heart that thy you might not sin against God. Because in, in the last days, and I'm telling you, my brother, we living in the last day. Well, preacher, uh, they've been saying that since my great great grandmama. Well, after the day of Pentecost, the last day started. Come on, preach. Come on. And so we're in the last days. Because men are going to become lovers of their own selves. Have you ever seen a day where people are so selfish? When I was growing up, we used to get butter, butter from next door, a piece of bread. If you eat, I'm going to eat. I'm talking to the church. I'm talking to the church. You can't be concerned about your food and no more. Because folks ain't trying to hear what you say till they can see what you say. Watch this, really? We fellow. We connected to him. If we say that, see, a lot of you all are impressed with what folks say. I seen folks pray and, and I played on the uh, softball team, and we used to, they used to say, Pre Pastor, Pritchard, Pritchard, Bishop, uh, we want you to pray for the game. And I pray, and I pray, I pray. Oh, you understand? I ain't praying that we win, but it was on my heart. <laughs> but watch this. As soon as I get through praying, they said, let's go get some aim. <laughs> and I told them this, I said, never ask me to pray again. 
Because you just dishonored the God I prayed to. So I said, just to show you, you know, don't be saying you a follower of him. But you cursing folks out. I mean, you doing stuff that don't represent the life. I'm preaching, you sound like you preaching a work gospel. But well, faith without works is dead. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus. Come on, Come on. Where you ain't going. Yeah. 